My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a special car, 1969 Trans Am Ram Air 3 with a four speed. Body off frame restored, numbers matching, documented by Pontiac Historical Service. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures, read the specs, and you will find prices on every one of the collector cars that we have for sale, along with a monthly finance payment. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, what a special car. In all the years we've been doing this, these rarely come through here. Uh, the reason for that, they made 634 of them total. That's all that was ever made. And it was a one year design. They didn't make this Trans Am until 1969. And then 1970 was a completely different body style. Uh, so once in a while you'll see one of these. Typically it's a clone. Someone's made it into a Trans Am. This is one of the real documented cars. Uh, I've been mentioning in a few videos lately that I went down to Georgia, way up in the mountains. There's a private car collection. Uh, he has about 50 cars in a metal pole barn building and you walk in and there's all these neon lights and memorabilia and gorgeous cars. I was able to get eight of his cars from him. This is one of them. Uh, so it's a really nice piece. 1500 hour rotisserie restoration. I was done about 15 years ago but used very little since then. So like I said on a rotisserie so the whole uh, chassis, everything was dropped out of the bottom of the car, the frame was off, so you're just left with a bare metal shell, uh, all clean, rust free, painted black. All the suspension was completely rebuilt, you know, ball joints, bushings, shocks, springs, steering components, and it was all detailed right down to the assembly line markings. There's different paint markings on different parts. As they went down the assembly line, it would tell the workers what part was what. Um, in back, it's got, you know, the shocks, bushings were replaced as well. Correct exhaust system, uh, dual exhaust with two small mufflers. And then it goes into the transverse muffler, the sideways muffler with the right tailpipes. Looking up at the motor, it's all clean. It's got that Pontiac aqua blue oil pan, the starter, uh, all that looks fresh, all looks stock. VIN number matching uh, M24 speed Muncie transmission. The motor, by the way, is VIN number matching and that on a Pontiac, you look at it from down below. So when we're underneath looking up, uh, we verified the numbers match on the motor and trans. Uh, these come with a 355 10 bolt posi rear end. Uh, brakes were all redone at the time of restoration. Brake lines, hoses, e-brake assembly, all that was replaced. Does have disc in the front. So let's check out the body. And aren't these good looking cars? Every one of them was cameo white with the blue racing stripes, the spoilers, so they all look the same. Uh, but what a good looking car it is. So this was painted at least about 15 years ago and it's holding up really well. Uh, so it's straight, all these panels are nice, there's no bubbles. If you ever wonder why I'm touching the car, you know, maybe you don't see a little bubble or, or a dimple. Uh, that's why I feel, you feel the gaps, nice and flush and square. These air extractors on the fenders are actually functional. It, it pulls the hot air out of the engine compartment. Uh, but all this is lining up real nice. Uh, Unique hood scoops only on the Trans Am, one year only. All the bumpers up here, the fillers, everything lines up really nice. The hood is square, all real nice, no damage, no, no rust, no dents, nothing. No issues, no problem areas. This is all real nice and clean. The roof line's real good. 
I was just in the trunk with my flashlight, looking way up in here. I didn't see any cuts or splices. I felt as far as I could feel uh, for any signs that these were cut off. I believe they're original quarter panels, the best I can tell. Uh, so the body appears to be in excellent shape. Spoiler's real nice. Now the paint, uh, probably at least as good as it left the factory. Uh, it's all smooth, glossy finish. There's a little dust that could be wet sanded a little better right there. I mean, you know, today they spent 25, 30 grand on a paint job and they're glass. This is better than the factory, but it's not, you know, absolutely 100%. And I hate when I start talking like that. I'm, I'm beating up the car, but I'm being super critical. Uh, I mean, I don't see anything to complain about, to be honest with you. So the windshield's crystal clear, all the stainless trim is straight, shiny, all the window fuzzies are replaced, chrome handles, mirrors, emblems have been replaced, front bumpers re-chromed, bezels are re-chromed, the grills are in excellent shape, has the correct antenna, the Rally 2 wheels have been restored, has reproduction lug nuts, unique to the Pontiac. Center caps and trim rings are excellent. It has reproduction polyglass tires. Doors fit real nice. I bet it shuts real nice too. Yep. So that's the body. The rear glass is original. It has some light scratches in the rear glass. Rear bumper is re-chromed. So why don't we uh, see what it looks like inside? So we got a nice, clean, and complete trunk compartment. When I say complete, it has a restored Rally 2 wheel, matching polyglass tire. It has the white letters, never been used. The jack is restored. Uh, it's all solid metal, clean quarter panels. Under the trunk lid's painted nicely. The weather strip, the mat, the sticker, uh, it's all been replaced. I was just reading a little bit. Uh, John DeLorean had a lot to do with these cars. He wanted Pontiac to be better than Chevrolet in all regards, including the muscle car. Uh, so that's why he came up with this uh, Trans Am, just to be better than the Camaro SS. So door jams are painted nice. Uh, new weather strips, door panel, armrest, window crank, all that's been replaced. It's real nice. Dash area is excellent. The dash pad is mint. The instrument bezel, the panel, not cut, drilled, broken. It's all real nice. Heater control panel, original radio, the knobs, all very good. Not much in the way of options. Uh, console delete. You just got the Hurst shifter coming out of the floor. That's all you need right there, baby. Yeah, nice deluxe steering wheel. The seats have nice cushion. They're reupholstered. The back seat's real nice. It has the original seat belts, blue seat belts. They're in very good shape. The trim around the back window, the headliner, all that's real nice. The dome light works. The visors are nice. The original mirror is a little bit clouded. The white letters on the tires are a little discolored, too, from age. If you're really going to drive the car, probably be a good idea to replace tires anyway. The blue stripes are painted on. So we've got a Ram Air 3 400 motor. You can see the Ram Air uh, does function. It blows the cold air right into the air cleaner. This whole air cleaner assembly is unique to this car. <clears throat> the motor's painted up real nice. I've checked casting codes and dates. The dates line up. Uh, it's got the right manifolds, um, reproduction chrome valve covers, correct spark plug wires. The engine bay is all nice, clean metal. Uh, reproduction GM hoses and clamps. Delco battery topper with the spring clamp cables. The shroud, radiator, 
Uh, all that looks to be in really nice shape. The alternator is clean. It's got power steering, power brakes. Uh, look at the power brake boosters, cadmium plated, and it's all detailed up real nice. So very, very nice uh, engine compartment, show quality. So there you have it. I told you I bought eight cars from the collection, all really nice cars. And I had a buyer lined up that was uh, buying this car before it even arrived here. And luckily that deal didn't pan out because I was so excited to get this car. I haven't had a 69 Trans Am in years. Uh, I was very disappointed uh, when I thought I might have had it sold. Uh, but anyway, that deal didn't work out. Uh, and I'm, I'm thrilled to have this here. And I guess my whole point in saying that whoever buys this car, you can feel real proud. You can, you're getting a special car. You pull into a car show or cruise night or anywhere, just open your garage door to know that you have it. This is a special car. Uh, extremely rare. It's documented. It's restored. And it's a good-looking, desirable piece. Uh, so there you have it. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Talk with the salesman. They'll answer your questions for you. They'll help get this delivered to your driveway. They'll help you with that financing at volocars.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you're notified when the new ones are posted. Thank you.